Hello everyone, it is your favorite TT from Divine Me 1111 Spiritual Guidance. And I'm not sure exactly what it is that I'm going to do at this moment. I'm not even 100% sure if I'm going to post this. I just know that I am having some interesting thoughts, some interesting feelings right now. I'm having a hard time understanding uh, people's thinking, and I know that it is not my place or my function to try to change anyone or persuade anyone. That's not what I'm here for. What I am here for is to be 100% truly and authentically myself. And it is also my purpose to allow that for others. And in saying that, the temperature of our climate, our atmosphere right now is just so unsettling. It's so unsettling and it's quite disturbing to me that in 2020 there are common sense things of being and allowing that we have not grasped the concept of and uh, it's just it's so unfortunate because in all honesty my 100% thought is black people are the bomb. We are. Black people are so creative and so innovative and so just everything stems from us. And I know there are a lot of people that aren't going to agree with that, but scientifically it's true if you want to go by the bible and the historically historically the first human remains millions of years old were african uh, that whole eve gene I'm, I'm, I'm just confused that we don't have common sense and common understanding. I don't care what you believe. I don't care who you pray to. I really don't. Are you respecting other people? Are you respecting yourself? Are you treating people like they matter or are you so caught up and wrapped up in what you have been ingrained and brainwashed with that you don't even allow for another thought or allow for another perspective to retrain your thinking or at the very least open your mind to what someone else's experience is. It's heartbreaking. I'm gonna try not, I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to cry. Very emotional creature, yes I am. I'm a very emotional creature. But I also understand that we are just people. And why can't we just allow each other to be people? Before you make any assumption, before you jump to any conclusion, before you, you know, go off of what someone else has said, have you stopped and thought for yourself? Why would you teach someone to hate anything? Why would you teach someone to be disrespectful to another person? I understand that we have all been hurt in our lives and things happen. 
and I do my very best to try to not um, radiate that to others, not just radiate it, but uh, in, 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 in talking about it and discussing it, but I try not to give that energy off. If I am not in my best and highest vibration, I stay to myself. Me and God get together and we start talking. And I know that that's not how everybody is. I get it. Everybody is not able to sit with self. But once you get to a point where you can say, all right, sit with myself and have that one-on-one -on -one relationship with God. If you don't believe in, in, a, in God or a higher power or, or words, it's semantics. There is something greater than you are. You didn't just happen to come up here. I'm sorry if you think that. There is something greater than you. And I don't care if you call it Jesus. I don't care if you call it Buddha. I don't care if you call it Muhammad. I don't care if it's a cow. I don't care. What I do care about is people being true to each other and true to themselves and walking in love if you want to consider yourself a christian a lot of the stuff that these christians are doing in the world and claiming to be i don't see anything jesus or christ about it i don't i've never read anywhere in the bible where Jesus judged. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure it says in the Bible that he didn't come to condemn the world. So if we are supposed to be emulating Jesus, why are people holding condemnation towards others? For beliefs, for looking a certain way, for saying a certain thing for I, I don't understand so are we going to be of a higher level of thinking or are we still going to and and let's 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 stop comparing ourselves to the animals because in all honesty animals have more structure than we do they have more structure they have more discipline they know their place. They know their job. They allow each other to be. There is there is function in the animal kingdom. Yes, that whole you know survival of the fittest thing, but it is there is still order. Um, lions are not out to assassinate and exterminate antelope. They're just not. So, let's have a thought about that. Let's have a thought about that. Let's think about just how true we really are. Are we really being true? Are we really walking the walk that we are telling everyone that we are that we are claiming to walk when we sit in condemnation of, of others because of one thing or another that's just that, that's been a, a really a really big thing that has been going on within me these past couple of uh, I'll say for at least the last three to six months that part has really been weighing on me. Um, I've been learning and going through uh, a lot in these last couple of years. Um, starting, of course, with like most people, 2012, um, 2013. And I believe in graduation. I believe a lot of us have graduated to a different level of understanding to a higher level of understanding, not just different, a higher level of understanding. And 
in my opinion, that is the Christ consciousness, the um, ability to see beyond the physical and beyond what is plain in front of you and seeing beyond that. Um, I believe that Jesus saw his life as a way to be an example of how we are to communicate with God. He was 12 years old and he was teaching. The, those that were in higher positions than he were sitting and listening to a child. That's understanding of that's because he understood who he was and I think that that is what he was trying to teach us I believe that that was his purpose here on this earth is teaching us how to 1111 teaching us how to be sovereign teaching us how to have a relationship with God. In some instances of a few a few days ago, about a week or so ago, I posted on my Facebook page and asked this question. I said um, something to the effect of are we supposed to be worshiping Jesus or was Jesus teaching us how to worship God? And I got, um, I got some answers from, uh, from, from two ladies that I am very, very grateful for because I, in all honesty, I was expecting to be attacked because I have been for questions of that nature, but I wasn't. They, um, explained to me their point of view and I appreciated it. I appreciated their point of view. Um, did not sway me from what I think as far as um, being as far as black people being given the religion of Christianity and our ancestors relationship with God was taken from us and we were told that this is the right way to do this and then it was then taken and tainted and used to say this is the reason why you are enslaved to us is because you're supposed to be enslaved but then not uh, abiding by the fact that in Revelations, it says that Jesus had feet of bronze and hair of wool. And I've not seen, um, unless you've tanned your skin to oblivion, I've never seen a white person with bronze feet and woolly hair. And I'll take woolly hair very lightly because, um, what's his name? Bob Ross had woolly hair, so, okay. But I believe that Jesus was teaching us to have a relationship with God for ourselves. I believe that Jesus was teaching us, and, and not just Jesus, um, I'll, I'll take it even further and uh, go with um, Muhammad or, or Buddha. These master teachers were teaching us how they achieved enlightenment, ascension, and how we, how they were being the example of how we were supposed to do those things in order for us to have our direct relationship with God. And I think we have misconstrued that in taking the idea and the image of Jesus and taking us completely
completely out of the Trinity. I believe Jesus was telling us we are a part of the Trinity. If we take Jesus out of the Trinity and put ourselves there, that also may, because did I, if I'm not mistaken, he called us co-heirs. We were called co-heirs. So, yeah, um, that's something that has been very much frustrating to me is we're supposed to be doing all of this to emulate what Jesus did, but we're putting restraints and constraints on ourselves because, oh no, we're not supposed to think of ourselves as Jesus. Well, if that's the... Huh? That makes no sense to me. It makes no sense. I don't understand why I am not supposed to think of myself as my big brother, my ancestor thought of himself. He thought highly of himself. He he said, and then he even said, greater works than he did, we're supposed to do because he goes home to the Father. That, in my opinion, should be, is, is, is more the answer than what we're doing as far as, and don't get me wrong, because I, I was one of those people who was entrenched in, in church and going every day of the week and you know paying ties and all that and that's something else I'll get on later I'm going to talk about that right now but doing all of that and being in, an, in that environment and still being judged I believe that's another reason why people don't go to churches the church is supposed to be a hospital where people get well but there are people sitting in pews that have sat in pews for 30 years and can't tell you anything about a relationship with God, but they can surely pick up the phone and worry their pastor. And I don't understand that either because pastors are human too. So, I'm going to leave it there. Those are my thoughts. I'm going to leave it there. Um, if you guys would like to have a conversation or have any suggestions for me in getting more understanding of that, please leave a comment below. Um, if anyone would like to get a personal spiritual guidance reading from me, I am available to do that. We can set up set that inf the information will be in the description box we can set that up um, through email or uh, a live reading my price points are $25 for 30 minutes and $55 and 55 cents for up to an hour thank you guys so much for listening